Hi, in this video, we're going to look at uh, a problem that could affect the Triton and More or the Triton Aspirante, both similar showers. Um, the problem would manifest itself as not getting hot, can't get it to a temperature that I'm comfortable to shower under. What this means, in all probability, it means that the commissioning procedure has not been followed correctly. It would mean that the temperature knob here is not aligned with the valve behind it. There is a simple procedure. I'll just demonstrate what we're actually getting at the moment. I'll put some power onto it. And then I'll press the start. Okay. When these showers come on, they come on to the highest heat setting. This one has a readout, which should give us an indication of what temperature it's putting out. Okay, that says 35, 36. The knob on the front cover has a finite amount of movement. So if you imagine a clock face, it would go from seven o'clock being the coldest around to five o'clock being the hottest. Okay, um, at the moment I've got it turned fully clockwise. So I'm on the five o'clock bit. And as you can see, it's only 37 degrees. But we're getting some heat out there, which means the heaters are working. Everything's okay, it's heating up but it just probably means that the cover is not aligned with the valve behind. So to do that, we'll just turn the shower off. That should be saying bye-bye now. When the shower stops, like now, all you would need to do is you've got, as most Tritons, you've got two screws at the top, one each side and one at the bottom. The easiest way to remedy this and make it so that it's all fully aligned is to take the screw out of the bottom, which I should do now. Okay. And then just ever so slightly, leave the two at the top, but just ever so slightly lift the cover forward so that the, the knob doesn't engage with the valve behind it. Then turn the knob anti-clockwise and then refit. Once you've refitted it, it will now turn the valve behind. Then we'll turn it fully clockwise again till it stops. Okay. So now the valve we know is in the fully clockwise position. All we've got to do now is reset the knob so that the knob is in fully clockwise position. So we'll lift it off again. There's still a bit of movement, so we'll just turn that. Now I'll make them both engage again. Now we know that the knob is fully clockwise, so as hot as it'll go, and also the valve behind it. That means we're now commissioned properly and we're ready to go. If I was to put the screw back in, remember before we only had a maximum of about 37 degrees. What I'll do now is I'll apply power before I put the screw in. There we go, saying hello, welcome. Turn back on. Didn't press it properly. Turn the knob back a bit because I know it's going to get hotter because I've now commissioned it and aligned it. There we go, it's now going past the 37 mark, 38 degrees it stops at, 39. Wait for it to settle. So it's settling in about 40 degrees. It'll take about 20 seconds to get up to temperature and then just turn it a bit more clockwise until you reach a comfortable shower temperature of probably around 42. 41. But as you can see now, because I've realigned it, um, it's fine. 